Hi, you guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I didn't give myself a facial. You know, you can just feel your skin. You need a good scrubbing. Anyway, happy Monday. It is about 8 o'clock in the morning. And your girl is about to get her day started. <clears throat> I know. I done messed up my back <laughs> this morning picking up a case of water and I and I'm really upset because I know to use my knees not my back okay to pick stuff up so anyway picked up a case of water now my back is killing me but anywho happy Monday hopefully you guys are having an amazing Monday um or had an amazing Monday by the time you see this so um, one of the things on my vision board that I wrote down, which is very, very important to me, was for me to every morning get up, write down my, you know, agenda for the morning and the, what I wanted to accomplish that day and to make sure I do it, check the items off. So I just did that this morning with this, um, I don't know if I showed this, but I think I did. When I went to TJ Maxx, I bought this little daily agenda pad. And it's perfect for me because it's just a notepad, you know, where you write down the date, the day, um, what you want to accomplish in the morning, in the evening, and just do it, okay? So I don't need anything fancy. That's, that's all I need. <laughs> so um, I've already done a few things. I took my vitamins. Um, I weighed myself. Okay. We're going to keep that between me and the Lord because, okay. So yeah, I weighed myself so I can know where I'm starting. Cause I feel like today is my start, even though it's what the 17th today's my start. You know, I went on vacation, enjoyed myself, ate what I wanted to eat with hubby. And so today is going to be truly my healthy start eating exercising all that stuff so i have everything i want to do on my daily agenda and i actually already ordered you see i got my little stater brothers order right here i ordered some healthier options to have them in the house okay because i like to be prepared i don't like to wait until i get hungry to figure out what i'm going to eat because it never works out good for me when i do that so um, I'm going to just put these groceries away and then another thing I need to do today is I'm taking these twists out. These twists should have been out, but because, you know, I caught COVID, went on vacation and all that good stuff, they've been in a good two, three, four weeks longer than I wanted them. So anyways, that's something that I plan to do today. <clears throat> but first, let me put these groceries away. <laughs> There goes hubby calling me, but I'm gonna put these groceries away. Okay, you guys, so I'll just kind of show you guys some of the stuff that I got from the grocery store to help me to make healthier choices, you know, when I do want a snack and stuff like that. So I did go ahead and grab me some Boom Chicka Pop, um, this sweet and salty kettle corn. Kettle corn, because you know, like, if I'm watching movies or I'm just chilling and I just have to have something to pop in my mouth. I bought some of these instead of like the regular high calorie popcorn that I normally get. So I got a few bags of that and I got enough, you know, for hubby too because, you know, I have to help him stay on track when he's at home. What he does when he's out, you know, in the streets. I can't control, but at least when he's here, I can keep healthier stuff in the house. So this is white cheddar, smart food, um, gluten-free popcorn. And so I don't think I've ever tried this one before, so hopefully I like it. So I got a couple of bags of that to last. It'll probably last quite a while. Hopefully it doesn't go bad, to be honest with you, because... Um, I really don't snack a lot, but like I said, I'd rather be prepared. So I decided to uh, tr try out these Kettle Brand potato chips. These are sea salt ones. And, you know, for me, my goal is not to eat completely 
to like buy stuff that I know I'm not going to eat because it's going to be nasty and I don't want it and it's just going to make me angry. So I'm buying things that are just better than what I normally buy. Normally I have Doritos, Cheetos, Funyuns, you know, all that kind of stuff. So these are Backyard Barbecue uh, from Kettle Brand. So these are, you know, the, um, they're really, really crunchy, really good. You know, but like I said, it's not like they're healthy. They're just healthier than what I would normally get. Um, what else? Oh, I got me some whole wheat bread. I'm not really focusing on carbs and all that stuff. You know, I have to do what works for me. What works for me is more so moderation and portion control and exercising. That's what works for me. Definitely portion control but like getting all the low carb and low calorie stuff I do that for certain things but not everything so I love me a good whole grain you know bread this one is heart healthy you know your girl is getting older got to think about different things like that and so we got that <clears throat> I did buy these carb balanced spinach herb uh, tortillas for mission because I do want to make me like some turkey wraps or you know chicken wraps and stuff like that so I like to have these on hand for stuff like that I got some eggs because um I'm really not that good with you know having like a big breakfast and protein and stuff like that but I got me some eggs because I do want to start to eat like oatmeal and boiled eggs and stuff like that for breakfast just to kind of give me a better start to the day especially with me working out and stuff so i got those um what else did you get okay what's in here and i ordered my groceries last night so that they would be here this morning i got this um celery stock because hubby wants me to make him some tuna so i got this um, chicken of the sea chunk light tuna in water so I can make him some tuna and I like to put celery for that extra crunch in his tuna so I will be making that um, I got me um, some what is it called romaine hearts because what I want to do is try you know even though I got the tortillas for the um, turkey wraps I want to try, you know, like putting some tuna salad and chicken salad and stuff like that in, you know, wrapped in here. So it'd be a little healthier, you know, a little less carbs or whatnot. So I did buy that. Um, let's see. Got me some bananas because um, <clears throat> hubby likes strawberry banana smoothies. So I got me some bananas to throw in the smoothie that I made for him also got some grapes love snacking on grapes um instead of candy whenever i'm trying to you know focus on my health so i got these fresh red seedless grapes um perfect for snacking i love 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 snacking on those got some tomatoes so i can go ahead and slice these up for like my turkey wrap so if i want to make you know a little turkey sandwich or something I love having tomatoes on stuff like that. In this bag, I have like some black beans. Um, I just got these in the can, no salt added, because like I said before, I love chipotle bowls. Oh my goodness, I love chipotle bowls. And I thought I had some black beans in the cabinet, but I didn't. So I bought a couple, a few cans of black beans. So whenever I want to make my chipotle bowls, I have my black beans. Um, I got milk, of course, because Hubby likes to have raisin bran. So I got some reduced fat milk. Um, these are so freaking easy. You guys have seen me make these before. It's the chopped salad kits from Dole. This one is the chipotle cheddar. Oh my goodness, they're so delicious. <laughs> I never realized I love chopped salads <laughs> so much <coughs> until I started eating them. 
This one is the barbecue ranch. So I got this flavor as well. And it's so easy, you know, I can have like a smoothie for breakfast or, you know, some boiled eggs or something for breakfast and whole wheat toast for breakfast. I can have a chopped salad for lunch. And then um, I did actually take some chicken out. Um, I got some more chips. These are the Kettle brand um, jalapeno chips. So I got this flavor as well. But like I was saying, I did take some chicken out to bake. I love just having baked chicken readily available when I'm trying to eat healthy because I can just chop it up, throw a little bit in my salad. I really don't like meat in my salad, to be honest with you. So I really use like the baked chicken for my wraps and it's good, you know, for hubby, I can make him some baked chicken and rice and vegetables for dinner. So yeah, I got some chicken thighs thawing out. This um, is some Harvest Sun Chips. Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips, whole grain. And these are actually quite tasty. You know, grab a couple, snack on those. Like I said, I'm one where I'd rather be prepared because if not, honey, I will call up Uber Eats and order me some nachos quicker than you can say I want something crunchy to eat, okay? And then I have these Lay's Kettle Cooked sea salt and vinegar i guess i was just wanting to try every flavor really so i can know which ones i like the best to just you know keep those on hand so i got the sea salt and vinegar um so honey we are covered for snacks okay we definitely gotta worry about no snacks up in here so, move some more stuff out the way oh okay so i grabbed some juices um I don't think she brought me the right kind, quite honestly, because, yeah, unless I ordered the wrong one. This one is Cran Pineapple from Ocean Spray. I like putting different flavored juices in my smoothies. When I make my smoothies, I use a little juice, the fruit, yogurt, and um, that's about it. So anyway, this one here is Ocean Spray Diet, five calories, Cran Apple. And that's what I wanted to get for all of them. I wanted them all to be diet or, you know, low calorie, low sugar. So I don't know if she grabbed the wrong one or what. This one is Cran Grape. And, you know, this I also can just drink if I want, you know, a little glass of juice in the morning or something. But I don't want to feel super guilty about drinking juice because, you know, juice has a lot of sugar in it. So anyway, got that. Okay, so this bag, what is this? Okay, so this is some uh, natural choice oven roasted turkey. So this is basically just like turkey slices for my turkey wraps. And you know, if hubby wants a turkey sandwich or something, it's just straight up um, sliced turkey. I got a bunch of Yo Play Lights. I know it's not the healthiest yogurt, but I've been losing weight eating, <laughs> using these yogurts for years. So it's all good. So I got some vanilla, some peach, some strawberry, and I really don't just eat yogurt anymore like I used to. I put one of these in my smoothies. When I make it, it just helps it to be a little bit more smooth. Get me some calcium and vitamin uh, D in my smoothie. So yeah, I just, you know, use one of those in my smoothies. So I got those. This is um, one of the fruit melodies that I got to make my smoothies with. This one is the berry, med berry medley, unsweetened. It's just frozen fruit, so works out perfectly from the smoothies. I also got some Daisy Light Sour Cream because, honey, I cannot eat a Chipotle bowl without a little bit of sour cream on it. So I just decided to opt for the light and see how that goes. <laughs> so got that. What is this? this is, um, oh, this is some chicken salad. I wanted to try out the chicken salad from Stater Brothers. 
I don't know, honey. We'll see. Because I've never made chicken salad. I only make tuna salad for hubby. So I just grabbed this to see if I like it. I could throw a little bit of this in one of those lettuce wraps and see how it goes. So I did buy that. Um, got two of them just in case, you know, if hubby likes it. I'll have another one. Yeah, this is a gang of groceries, okay? Um, I also got this um, fire roasted. I didn't even know they had these. Oh my goodness, I just looked, searched for it, and bam, popped up. This is some fire roasted super sweet corn that um, is in the frozen section. And this is perfect because, of course, I like to have my fire roasted corn on my Chipotle bowls. So I did grab this to add on top of there. <clears throat> this bag just has more fruit in it. Um, another medley that I bought for my smoothies is this one here, unsweetened mixed fruit. So I got this, you know, to make smoothies out of as well. This one has the peaches and the pineapples, little strawberries and mangoes. So this is really, really good as well. You know, I have stuff everywhere. But we're almost done. Dang. I guess I got a lot of chicken salad. It's hard to tell when you have to order like by weight and stuff. It's hard to know how much you're ordering. So here's another thing of tuna that I got to make for hubby. Um, I did grab this cinnamon and spice Quaker instant oatmeal. Um, I got this because chow, I am lazy. In the morning when it comes to my breakfast, since I don't really like to eat a large breakfast, I just grab this so I can make me a quick little packet of oatmeal, boil me some eggs. I know back in the day, we used to make the um, the oatmeal, you know, the regular canister of Quaker oatmeal and, you know, boil that water, cook them up. Child, I ain't got time for that. So this one is another Diet 5 Cran Mango. I think... Yeah, I think this one she just maybe picked in error because this one is the cran pineapple and this one's the cran mango. So this is the only one that's not the five calorie diet juice, which is fine. I won't die. <laughs> and I think this is the last bag that I have. Um, I bought me some romaine, romaine green leaf. I like to make me just a quick little salad every now and then. Um, doesn't have to be the chopped salad, kids. I can just use this, throw a little bit of dressing on there, and I'm good to go. Another chopped salad. I also grabbed some asparagus. So I got a couple of stalks of asparagus because with the baked chicken, I definitely want to have some vegetables, you know, some greens, because I am going to try to stay away from the rice and the potatoes and stuff as much as I can, but I have to have some vegetables with my meat. So got a couple of stalks of asparagus to just kind of saute or whatever. Um, let's see, is there anything else? No, the rest of this is more salad more yogurt so that is it you guys i think i think i'm pretty much set for a good start because for me i have to have smoothies when i'm trying to lose weight i have to have salad i have to have some baked chicken whole wheat bread stuff like that works for me so anyhow um let me just do this this is basically what your girl is starting with, okay? So let me put this stuff away and I will get with y'all later.
right, so I'm on elliptical right now. And I'm so proud of myself because I didn't think I'll be able to get past like 15 minutes today, especially after being sick and it's hard for me to breathe right now and just, you know, being out of shape. But I think I'm doing okay. Let me show you guys. So, so far I'm at 45 Sorry, I'm moving. <laughs> but I'm at 45 minutes going on. 46 minutes. Why isn't it showing? Okay. Going on 46 minutes, burn 400 calories. And I am still going. I want to do an hour. I don't know if I'll be able to do an hour. Moving and grooving and sweating. So I'm proud of myself. Good start for today, okay? Well, you guys, today's lunch is a chopped salad. I think this is the Chipotle Ranch one that I bought. So it's just a chopped salad. It looks very delicious. And I got me some water here. So yeah, that's my lunch for today. Can't wait to dig in. And yeah, it's looking good. You know what? I want to get me some cute little bowls to eat my salads out of. Because I don't have any cute little, little bowls. Let me go on Amazon and find me something cute to eat out of. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. Hi, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Checking off my little to-do list today. Um, I got my twists out of my head. So I decided I wanted to try out some of these like headband wigs because they're super easy to put on and stuff like that. I don't really like wearing wigs because they give me a headache for the most part. And they make my head hot. <laughs> so... But they're super easy. And so this one I got from Amazon. It's just like a long wavy one. And it's just like an off black color. But anyway, so got that done. I'm glad because I was like, it's going to take me all day. But it didn't take me too long to take the twist out. So now I'm in the kitchen because I need to bake this chicken. And, you know, just kind of fix some dinner for tonight. So... I'm about to season this chicken. Let me show you what I have out right now. So I just, you know, have the chicken flipped up on. I don't know why. It's like I always start, I like chicken thighs for one, but I always start with it flipped skin side down when I season. I don't know, creature of habit. But I have that set to go. I have some coarse black pepper, Lowry's of course some granulated onion powder. Um, I am going to try out this new seasoning that I got when I went to Ross looking for that luggage. This one is roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. So we're gonna see how that goes. Cause I always put garlic powder on my chicken, but this sounds really good. And then I have some Creole kick to give it a little bit of that oomph, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and season up my chicken. Probably just gonna do some rice for hubby or you know what? I don't know. I might do some red beans and rice for him and then just make some broccoli. Trying to keep it simple, honey, because we are not doing fast food, none of that, okay? So let me season up this chicken. Okay, you guys, so my food is finally done. I've been sitting here just watching YouTube videos and just kind of chilling while I was cooking. So let me show you how everything turned out. So my chicken is done, nice and delicious and juicy baked chicken. I will be using this, well, you know, um, Aaron will be eating it, <clears throat> but I will be using this like in my chicken wraps and if, basically that's it to be honest with you. I might have some chicken and vegetables, but yeah, I don't really like meat on my salad, so I don't think I will be chopping that up for my salad. I will end up making a chicken wrap or something with that and then this is my broccoli we like our broccoli nice and soft okay so actually i can eat broccoli either way because i like broccoli beef you know from uh panda express and stuff like that this is my red beans and rice no extra sausage or anything like that in there just keeping it real simple something you know nice and hot to eat for dinner without all the extra frills usually I would cut up sausage and put that in there I make some sweet hot butter cornbread and all that but 
And it is not what we're doing right now. So this is it. Simple, basic, easy dinner. But that seasoning, that seasoning that I got from um, Ross, the, what is it, like rosemary and roasted garlic? Oh my gosh. I think that is what's making that broccoli taste so good, y'all, because it is so good. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I'm ready to eat. I'm going to call and see where hubby is. <coughs> <coughs> it's about 5.40 p.m., and we're trying to eat before 6 o'clock or, you know, no later than 6, and... He cutting it kind of close tonight, okay? So, I'm so, my girl, Lily, you know, if you watch her, Lily Living Life, um, you know that she got a whole arm sleeve done. Her whole arm, she got it done. And I, I want to do that, but I know how much this hurt me. And I'm just like, do I want to go through that again? Although they say this part of the arm does not hurt as much as this part. Um, but I really, really want to kind of do some research as far as what I want to, if I get it done, what I want to put on here. I really, this um, flower here is like one of my absolute favorites. So I might, you know, get like a big butterfly and then another big flower like that. I don't know, you know, we'll see. But I'm going to start looking at some different, um, you know, different ideas for finishing uh, my arm sleeve. If I decide to do that, y'all, because, yeah, this mug hurt. And I'm not talking about for days. I'm talking about for weeks. It hurt, okay? Now that it's all healed and stuff, you know, it's fine. But who chow? Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. Eyes been on that prize, I cop that crib off for that timepiece. I'm trying to see the globe and sell out shows until the flight leaves. They wanna ride my ties, but they ain't even ride or die, please. But I've been short on time, been in the prime, I'm my prime easy. I said I never changed and leveled up, I guess I lied, yeah. Off that strain of potent just to feel like I'm alive, yeah. Mix that with that potion just to feel like I'm that guy, yeah. So know the one you talking to, you way outside your line, yeah. Go against the tribe, you lose your... Let me not even say this. I just ran out of my places. I just got tired of waiting and got here myself. Want me to believe in the dream that they see for they suffer still doubting themselves. They might as well light up the L. High top on 10 toe, drip retro. Talking major. Okay, you guys. So your girl is on her way to her brow appointment to go get, you know, get them touched up. Any areas that need to be touched up filled in. That's what I'm going to do today. And... I don't have any of like the nervousness or, you know, anticipation or being kind of afraid <clears throat> for this appointment like I did the first one. The first one I was like super duper, um, this hair is so big, I have to get used to. <laughs> it's just this big curly hair again, but anyways. Um, yeah, I don't have any of the nervousness and stuff like that that I did before um, when I went and got it done. When I tell you it has been life-changing for me, it has been life-changing for me. I feel like it makes such a difference, um, you know, just in my face when I don't have makeup on. Like, I literally can just put on some powder and some lashes and you know actually look like I did something <laughs> okay so um I just I love it love it love it now getting these brows done and getting over that hurdle and that fear of you know oh my gosh what if you know she messes up and they look crazy getting over that fear 
has kind of given me a little bit more courage to look into LASIK, like seriously. I wanted to get LASIK done um, for years, <laughs> years and years and years. But no, I just missed the train. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> for years and years and years. But it's been like, nah. You know, that, you know, is really, really risky to me. Just letting somebody fool with my eyesight. But I'm so sick and tired of wearing contacts and still being blind. And, you know, just constantly having to wear glasses and stuff. It's, it's annoying. It really is. So, I feel like doing my brows kind of gave me a little bit more <laughs> courage to really look into doing the LASIK. My girl got it, DJ, and you know, she says the best thing ever. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna look into getting LASIK so your girl can just be able to see out in these streets, okay? Cause yeah, it's time. So anyway, that's where I'm headed to. I'm actually, it's 9.39, my appointment's at 10. I'm a little bit hungry. I had that berry smoothie for breakfast, which is a weird angle, I think. Is that better? I don't know. Anyway, I had that berry smoothie for um, breakfast, which was really, really tasty. But, you know, I had to kind of build up to being able to just drink a smoothie, I think, without getting hungry before lunch because I am a little bit hungry right now. So, um, after my brow appointment, I think I'm going to see if hubby is free, if he wants to grab something light for lunch. If not, I'm headed back to the house and make me like a little turkey wrap or something to eat. I did work out this morning. I did 45 minutes on my elliptical. So I'm very proud of myself, honey, because <laughs> you know, look, you got to take it one day at a time and then you got to take it one week at a time and then you got to take it one month at a time, honey, until you reach your goals. So that is where I'm at, taking it one day at a time, you know, and just trying to hold myself accountable and keep doing it so day two sticking to my healthy eating and sticking to my working out so uh, but I think you know this time I'm really excited because I know when I, I I know mentally when I'm ready to do it and that's where I'm at right now so ready it's not even funny so yeah um I really want to find a new devotional you know like morning uh, devotional or just motivational type book to read every morning. Not anything super heavy or that's a whole lot of reading in the morning. I just need something um, where I can just have me a nice little passage that I read every morning. Something uplifting, something positive that's going to help me get through my day. Um, you know, I, I deal with different things um, that I don't really share, you know, because that's not my personality to just be sharing all my <laughs> feelings and emotions and pains and struggles and stuff. But, you know, just like everybody else, you know, I'm human, I'm normal, and I have things that I'm dealing with and going through. And I really, um, <coughs> I really want to just you know, I have a, a morning, you know, like devotional that I read, but like I said, I've had that for <laughs> so many years, I need something new. So I think I'm going to stop by at Barnes and Noble because I was trying to find one online and I kind of feel like I need to go into the actual bookstore, look at them, read a few of the passages you know, and just have something speak to me directly and say, this is the book. So I definitely feel like I need to actually go into the bookstore, even though I really don't like going into anywhere unnecessarily <laughs> right now. Of course, you guys know why, but it's something that I really need. I feel like I really, really need right now. 
every day. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or not, um, or if I'll have time to even do that today or not, but that's something I need to do, like, very, very soon. If you guys have any suggestions as far as, like, just really good, easy, light, morning, inspirational type, you know, books, motivational books, you know, God-based books for me um, to have, you know, like a yearly reader or something like that, then, you know, let, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your suggestions are. Um, if there are some that specifically pertain to African-American women, that's something that I would be interested in too as well. But yeah, I feel like I really, really need that right now um, because some days are a little harder than others for me. But um, yeah, so that's it. I don't think I really have anything else on the agenda for today. It was raining earlier and I was like, oh, I hope it stops raining before I have to leave. And so, thankfully, it did. It's not raining right now, but earlier, it was raining. And your girl don't like driving in the rain, okay? So, there's some kind of construction going on right now that has me stopped. But, yep, so that's it, you guys. Um, definitely going to <laughs> look at the LASIK. Mm. I'm still scared, though. I don't know. I might need a little bit more time for that. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, child. We'll see. Okay, you guys. So, I wanted to just give you a better view other than just, you know, in the car of my brows. So, this is what the final result is. And, child, I love it. She's so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. I don't look like a freak of nature. If y'all, y'all listen, if you watch me, you know what my brows look like before. Chow. Look like some little chicken wings. Okay. But I love these. I do. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a better look at the brows. Okay. So let's go make us a little chicken wrap or something. Turkey wrap, chicken wrap, honey. Something because your girl is hungry. Feel like falling deeper, cold and nice that no more shit on. Kids are eating and no more kid on. Just on this hard as she go. Kid them and hard and go to him. No, I can't just can't. Cause your name I'm burned. Not your name got some. Okay, so maybe I stuffed my turkey wrap with too many goodies, but honey, I know it's gonna be delicious. She may not be pretty, but she gonna be delicious, okay? So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna grab me a few sun chips, and I'm good to go. Okay, you guys, so I have my wrap, turkey wrap with uh, romaine, tomato, Monterey Jack, and a little bit of Caesar salad dressing. And I have a few of my cheddar sun chips on the side. And I have my water that I'm always drinking now. So we're going to get down and have lunch, okay? Hi, you guys. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So right now I'm just sitting here trying to put on some lashes. So when I leave the house, I won't look completely plain. Um, I wanted to put on some makeup, honestly, but I don't know. I just having a rough week, so maybe I'll put on some makeup later on when I get back. But right now, after I get these lashes on, I had a pretty productive morning, had me a nice healthy breakfast, some boiled eggs and whole wheat toast, and I had some coffee. Uh, no calorie sweetener. I did my workout this morning on the elliptical. And 
So now I have to go to the post office because <clears throat> I need to drop some stuff off. And um, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble so I can find me a new devotional that I can read every morning. So that is what is on my agenda this morning. Very, very um, low-key morning. I don't have a whole lot of nothing that I really have to do today. Whenever I'm trying to put on lashes without any eyeliner, I try to get it as close to my lash line as possible, but yeah, it'd be difficult because you know your girl can't see that well. <laughs> but I try to get as close as possible and then I try to blend them with some, uh, some mascara, you know? But, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Putting on some lashes and I'm going to head out. I kind of want to go by, you know, some stores like Ross or TJ Maxx. I mean, after my experience before I went on my vacation trying to find that luggage, I'm like, dang, is it going to be hard for me to find um you know decor for the house and stuff the same way probably because i would assume quantities are low for everything you know but who knows Let's see if i can see what's going on here all right it's gonna have to do for now but yeah so i kind of want to stop by the stores and see if i can't find some um you know, just something at this point. Like I said, the weather is a little bit dreary outside. I'm not really in the best of moods today. Feeling a little sad, a little down, a little melancholy, if you will. But, you know, it's not going to stop me from moving on with my day. Being thankful that the Lord blessed me to see another day. And doing my best to be a blessing to whoever crosses my path today. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But, yeah, it's just pretty easy breezy day. So, I'm going to do that. And I think when I get back, I do have some stuff that I need to do around the house. Okay. <laughs> but, oh, I almost forgot my dog was in the house. Uh, my dog is in the house because, you know, the pool guy is supposed to come today. So, <clears throat> you know, he can't deal with Bosco, of course. But, I mean, technically, I could leave Bosco in the house while I'm gone. He ain't going to do nothing, child. Except walk around wondering where everybody at. <clears throat> which is probably what I'm going to end up having to do because already the pool guy couldn't get access while we were gone. So it's already been like two weeks since we had um, service for our pool. So he needs to come in. But anyway, yeah, so I feel pretty good. I've been doing really good. The only thing that I haven't been doing good with is drinking a lot of water. I drink water periodically throughout the day, but you know, when you're trying to lose weight, you really just need to like guzzle water um, because it really helps you to lose weight. And I have not been doing that, okay? So I'm gonna get it together. <laughs> one day at a time, one step at a time, one task at a time, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna try to remember to just keep some water with me. You know what? I should have tried out some of these Beauty Bakery cookie lashes. They're so cute and up on the shelf that I'd be forgetting that I have them, child. But yeah, some of these lashes are like super duper cute. And I think I'm going to try some tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going to hit the road, y'all. Okay, you guys. So this is my outfit of the day. Very casual, kind of warm. Like I said, it's kind of gloomy today. <laughs> um, so I have on these fake Ugg boots, <laughs> these Fug boots. I have on some dark blue jeans, of course. I think I got these from Fashion Nova, quite honestly, because they're very comfortable, very stretchy. 
I love Fashion Nova jeans because they're very comfortable and they're long. Um, I'm not super tall, but I'm 5'7", so a lot of jeans be too short for me. Got on this t-shirt I got from Senor Frogs when I was in Mexico. Have on this two-tone jacket. It's like half jean, half gray sweat. Has a... I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Anyways, there's a hood back there somewhere. <clears throat> Some, you know, simple jewelry. I have on a rose gold watch, which is too big. And I also have on this really pretty, like, rose gold and faux diamond bracelet. And then I have, hold on, child, this is hard. <clears throat> I also have on this black and bedazzled bracelet that I got from my girl, Liana. If you watched any of my previous vlogs, you know that I have gotten quite a few jewelry pieces from her. They're only $5 a piece, so I like having them to just kind of throw on with different things. And then for my earrings, I have on some, uh, what is this, rose gold and bedazzled hoops. So that's it for today, you know, casual, but still got on a little bling, so. I'm about to hit the streets. a quick question where would i find like daily devotionals um i think that would be for like religion yeah it would be in this section kind of spread out um, within it okay um, it's kind of going to go like religion books and then it goes on to history like religion oh uh, okay so picking through if you're looking for a specific author it's going to be by last name in there. okay thank you So that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't really go to the bookstore. So when I go, a lot of times I feel kind of lost, you know, in there. But, <clears throat> you know, when you're kind of looking for something specific, but you're not really sure exactly what you're looking for, it can be a little bit more difficult even still. But I grabbed two books <coughs> that I think um, might suit my needs. So this first one is, Is It Just Me? Okay. It says, Learning to Trust God in the Middle of Hurts, Doubts, and Fears by Grace Valentine. So this book is very simple, very basic, nothing deep. Um, but it does ask you, like, pertinent questions it asks you questions to make you kind of you know have is it introspection whatever to kind of dive deeper into yourself 
you know, it forces you to ask yourself these um, kind of real questions because if you don't ask the real questions, um, you're never going to find the real answers. You know what I mean? So it is um, Bible based, you know, Christian. But it seems to be light. Like I said, I didn't want anything too heavy. So, yeah, it's just, I think this is probably going to be a good read and a good action book for me. Something a little different. I was kind of looking for something like what I already had. But, you know, I think maybe I do need something a little different. So, this other one here is called The Weekly Self-Care Project, A Challenge to Journal reflect and invite challenge now I've always wanted to journal but I'm just I'm not a journaler your girl is not a journaler but I feel like I need to be quite honestly because I have you know a lot of things that I need to get off my chest and I feel like since I do hold things inside and I don't talk about a lot of things that I, I do need to journal some things but this is like a combination type book so it's kind of like you know it has in here physical care spiritual spiritual care emotional care and mental care and lord knows i need all of those right now okay 2022 is going to be a true glow up for your girl okay um so yeah it has in here scriptures but it has a lot of like pages like this too where you can just write down and journal and stuff like that. Um, see, it just has blank pages for you to write on. Well, they're not blank, but you know, you can write on them. But it also has, you know, different stuff like here, like this in here. So it does have reading materials, scriptures. Um, and then, this is what I really like, is it also has work. So it has work for me to do you know and I like that so you know it it asks you to write things down so you can stop and you have to think and you have to process uh, what does my body need today which of my needs are you most guilty of ignoring <laughs> um, are there new routines you can put into place to help address those needs write down your ideas but yeah so I feel like this will kind of keep me focused. It'll keep me on track. Um, yeah, so I like this. I like it a lot. It has work to do. It has pages I can journal on. It has scriptures. It has tools. So these are the two that I am starting with. Hey, y'all, talk about an impulse buy, okay? Up at the front of the dang old store. They had these freaking lap desks. <laughs> so he came to see me. But it's a lap desk. So on this side, you know, it has a pretty flat marble top cup holder. You know, a little thing for you to stop your laptop or whatever. And then it has this little cushiony side for your lap. Ciao. So anyway, but I do like to just kind of like chill, you know, in a comfy chair or on the couch or something when I'm reading, have my little, you know, drink or whatever. So, your girl bought that. How much was it? Let me see, I don't have my glasses right now, but, um, the lap desk was $29.99. Um, is it just me? It was $18.99, and then the weekly self-care project book is $16.99. So, not too bad for all of that. Um, glad I did it I needed to do it so that task is complete okay you guys so I'm finally about to try this chicken salad that I got from Stater Brothers um you know since they sent me so much of it I figure I better try it see if I like it if I do maybe I can freeze some of it okay you guys so this is what I have in my wrap I have some of the chicken salad which is actually really good I have a little bit of cheese that I sprinkled on there, and then I put, um, you know, a little piece of bacon in there. So now I'm going to wrap it up in this, what is this? The can't even think of the name of this lettuce, and I eat it all the time. So, let me take a bite of this and see if I like it. 
too much bacon on one side. Okay. I'll bite this side. This is good. <laughs> this is really good. It's really good. I'm surprised because I wasn't sure about that chicken salad from the grocery store, honey, but it's really good. They did a good job on that. It is seasoned very nice. It's creamy. It's buttery. It's really good. A little bit of cheese and bacon adds a nice little bit of flavor in there. And the lettuce wrap makes it a little bit more healthy, okay? So I like it. I would suggest you to try it out. You want a quick and simple, easy. I mean, you know, you got to cook your bacon if you want to put bacon in there. But if you want a quick, simple, easy, healthier lunch option, try this. Really, really good. It's my first time trying chicken salad, I think. I like it. So let me go ahead and finish eating my dinner. I told hubby I want him to taste one of these and see if he likes it. Because, you know, he doesn't really like stuff. Um, wrapped in lettuce too much, <laughs> you know, but with us both <clears throat> being on a healthier eating plan and stuff, I'm like, look, you're going to have to eat what I eat because this is what we eat. Okay. So <laughs> pretty good. Huh? You can make me one more. Okay, so you'll eat that? Okay. okay. <laughs> you about to tell the people you don't like it. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> you want to elaborate? No, it's just good. Look, it's just good. What's so shocking to me is that's good. Right, exactly. The chicken salad. The chicken salad is good. good. All they need is a little bit of that Creole kick. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Say smoking and grilling <laughs> with KB.